Well, good day everybody. My name is Ben Porchuk and I'm an ecologist working with the Carolinian Canada Coalition. And today I'm starting a short series on the emergence of the native plant garden. You may have heard about this in recent years as native plants are becoming more and more popular. And together, the Carolinian Canada Coalition with the World Wildlife Fund has created an incredible program called In the Zone Gardens. And this is a program that features native plants, encourages people to get involved. And I'm going to showcase, because I've been working on this garden for about 10 years now, maybe a little more than 10 years. And I've got close to 250 species of native plants. A lot of them are currently dormant here in just about mid-April, uh, but you can certainly see signs of things waking up. And in the coming weeks, I'll be showing you more and more different plant species that are waking up. This is hepatica here, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, liverwort. And one of the first things you'll notice, and I'll get into more detail, is that the ground is quite messy. There are a lot of leaves, stems from last year are still up. Some of this I'll clean up for sure because I like it to look manicured a little bit. Uh, but it's a far cry from what I started with here, which is essentially like my neighbor's lawn, which is you know really nice for standing on and walking around for sure. But the diversity of plants and animals is really low, which means the soil is in not as great a condition. Um, there aren't many plants to give off oxygen and take in carbon dioxide. It also means that you're a lot more prone to flooding and all sorts of things that we often forget to consider when we move away from the plants that are native in our local region. One of the key things is the loss of wildlife, starting with insects, butterflies, beetles, which then attract birds and other larger animals, reptiles and amphibians. Um, but I will be looking at certain species and talking about the impacts that we can have. For example here, if you have a quick peek here, you might be able to see blue cohosh. It's kind of purple right now. Or down here, you can just see the beginning buds of wild ginger coming out. Or you can look here at the beautiful fall asters, the remnants of that. One of the rarest trees in Canada called the cucumber magnolia. And there's a slightly larger one there. So the point of this series is to tell you about native plants and getting back to, to gardens uh, that focus more on native plants and how easy it is just to start with one or two, where to find them, how to talk to experts. And remember, the beginning steps is going to our website here, inthezonegardens.ca, and to find out more information on how you can get involved.